Hello, I'm going to play the viola part for a holiday waltz. I am playing it on a violin just because my violin was out already for making the violin recordings. I apologize for not being on a viola, but it's just more handy dandy. And the viola part doesn't go down onto the C string in this piece, so I can do this on the violin. Okay, I'm going to be playing this with uh, the metronome set to 110. And you should be practicing with this video and getting comfortable with it. And then when you're ready to record, you're still going to play with this video, but with headphones in, so that way you can hear me playing and the metronome, but your Flipgrid video should only pick you up. Okay, hopefully. So you have to play with this video. Okay, that is super duper important, and you have to have headphones. Okay, or a headphone in your butt, whatever. But you need to have something in your ear, so that way all this isn't going to be heard in the video. Okay. I am not going to do the retardando at the very end, <clears throat> and the fermata at the very end is basically going down for three beats, up for three beats, and then that's it. I am going to count out your rests as well, because this video has to line up with the other videos, so we can't skip over that stuff. Okay, here we go. 110 for the metronome, holiday waltz. One, two, three, one, ready, go. One, two, three. Cool, cool. All right, so practice with this video a few times, you know, to feel really comfortable. And then when you're ready, then you're going to record yourself on Flipgrid, and you're going to play with this video, headphones in, so that way we are playing together. And we will make my life easier trying to line everything up and making sure it's all good. Okay, because if everyone sticks with the metronome, the moment I line the videos up, it should be good, which would be amazing. So, good luck.